Welcome to Never a Dull Moment. I'm Greg Blythe, and today we have a special show for you. Um, this is definitely the most elaborate episode that I've ever done. It's taken a lot of work to get to this moment. I hope you appreciate the effort. Um, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be testing different diamond emulsions from four different companies. Three of them you've heard of, Gunny Juice, Ken Schwartz, and Jenda Industries. You might have heard of Kent Supplies. Um, but all of them are going to be 0.5 micron diamond emulsion. So let me explain how this is going to work. This is a big disclaimer that I need you to understand. I am a human being and I have hand sharpened four knives, all made of super blue steel, all from four different blacksmiths. But since I sharpened them, I sharpened them as consistently as a human being can sharpen four different knives of the same steel to give you about the same angle. I have sharpened all of them on a 1K, 3K, 5K, and then did four, uh, did edge leading strokes, 10 strokes per side on an 8K stone. They were left in that condition. They were not put on any type of straps whatsoever. All the knives were done by great blacksmiths. So we have a Kurosaka, Kurosaki, excuse me. We have a Fujiwara and two Anryu. So what I'm going to be doing is applying diamond emulsion to leather straps that I made. All of the leather is from the same piece of leather. All of the, the other strop that I'm going to be doing is the nano cloth that is provided by Kent Schwartz, Ken Schwartz. And in case you guys, you know, the, the point of it is, is that the nano cloth is supposed to have zero abrasive contribution. So we wanted something that was neutral. I have four of them. So I'm using four of Ken's. I'm not, I don't have four of Jinda Industries. So before anybody gets upset, I'm doing, I've done this as fairly as possible. Um, I am going to be drawing out these diamond emulsions. I have different syringes. I'm going to be drawing them out by volume meaning that all of them have different densities. So it's not fair that I do it by weight. I'm going to be doing it by volume. So I'm literally going to measure with the syringe and we are going to apply the exact same amount of diamond emulsion per each distributor. And my wife who's standing kind of off to the side from the camera right now in front of you on camera is going to be taking the four knobs and she is going to randomly just literally pick up one of the straps, put, pick, pick, I'm asking you to pick the leather up so that way it not, and just stick it on the knife that you want that to be done with. Okay, now make sure it's random. Okay. There we go. So I didn't pick which, so I don't have like a favorite knife to go with a favorite thing or like whatever. My wife has now made the decision. So what's getting ready to happen is I'm going to kind of maybe set up the cameras for a second and I am going to take the knives and I'm going to do a best test on one of the knives and I'm going to have diamond emulsion uh, placed on the leather and the nano cloth. I am going to then do 10 strokes on the leather and then give you a score to see what an improvement. My goal here today, guys, is not to declare a winner. My goal here is to show you the differences in a product. You will declare the winner for yourself. Remember, this is as bad as scientific as you can get. Each stroke will be done by hand. I cannot guarantee that the pressure will be done evenly per person. I am not a robot. We do not have NASA's money, nor do we have robotics here. So I am conducting for your entertainment, your education, call it what you will this test so that you might learn something. I would like to point out the one company you may or may not heard of. Kent Supplies, their product is a diamond paste, which is in a true emulsion. I had it and I wanted to test it with it. It's normally used for polishing metal, but polishing like jewelry, diamonds, things like that. It's really not fair to it to be in this class, but as a way of control, just to show you, it does have diamonds in it. It does kind of work the same. So it's going to be in here. We've got, I do not have DMT. I've already been, I, I can't, I don't, guys, we're self-funded. 
We don't have money. No one's sending us stuff. So we don't have like, we can't buy everyone and compare. These are three of the biggest names. I'm sorry that I don't have DMT. Maybe in the future we will have that product. So what you're going to see me do is I'm going to move each individual knife to the side. I'm going to move the products and we will be, and I'm making sure to do this so that no dust or anything gets on the product, but I'm going to go ahead and get a score for each knife so that you guys can see. My wife's going to tell me, yep, she's kind of signaling to bring it in a little bit closer. We've got another camera. I don't know which one. Okay, let's see when we get it to the right spot. See, I'm getting a heads up from her. And you can speak, life. It's just, you know, everybody knows this is a home business. Are we good? Can you pick it up when it's, when it's on there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, so, just for this knife, let's get a score. Oh, let's uh, just be very careful. We do not want to damage the edge in any way, shape, or form and make it unfair. So, the knife that this is, it's beautiful. It's an Anrayu. 210 millimeter AS Gyoto. It was the first knife I ever got. I love this knife. So let's just go ahead and get a score. Let's tear it. Okay, so I'm navigating the studio here for you guys. So I did a pretty good job of sharpening this knife. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you that the score is 134. Okay. So 134 for that knife. Okay. So we will put that away for a sec. All right. Let's go to another on Ryu. We're gonna get a score for this one. My wife is suddenly learning why we had to buy a bag of a hundred of these things. Okay, so this on Ryu, this is the AS Tashimi Honsuki. So this one is 191, okay? Okay, so, and just for the record, we're trying to show percentage of increased performance. We're not necessarily trying to show like who gets the best score. We're just trying to see that any of the knives perform well, obviously we're gonna get different percentages and different scores per knife. Okay. So this knife is a Nakiri. It is by Fujiwara. All right. So it has a starting out score of 173. Okay. And the last knife made me, my wife will reach it for me. Thank you, hon. Mm -hmm. 
This is the Kurosaki um, Bunka. Let's put a new one in there. This is a super blue, 170 millimeter. I don't know why I keep saying that. Is that a Kurosaki? <clears throat> so we got 179. Okay. So those are the starting scores per knife. trying to be very careful to make sure that I don't do any damage on any of the edges of the knife. Now, I know you guys like it when I don't do a lot of editing, but I now I'm going to see what I can do like on screen here. Um, this is obviously going to be a longer video than normal. So I have not tried to draw out these diamond emulsions. I don't know how easy this is going to work. So I don't know if I should, and I'm looking at my wife, if I should try it without the needle or not. This is an 18 gauge needle. So, and this is Jinda. This bottle has not been opened. So I literally am opening it today for the first time. So first of all, we're gonna make sure we shake it. Let's get some evidence that we did everybody right, that the emulsion had a chance to shake. I mean, you guys can, I mean, I'm not trying to lean towards the company, you know. Okay, so I don't really have like somewhere to put the top of this. I'm going to ask my wife to hand me something, just a paper towel, to put this on. Sorry, guys, we weren't more prepared. You know, this is, I try to do this without editing, so you know there's not like crafty camera work going on. Let's see if it's something that can be drawn out. I don't know if it can be drawn into a syringe. I do not think I'm able to do it that way. So, we are going to try it without. And there you go, folks. So, I'm going to get it down to... one half of a mil and I'm going to put one half of a mil on the leather. I need a glove. Thank you so much. I'm sure it's already drying and I apologize. I'm working as fast as I can. I'm just going to go with it backwards so I can get my finger on there. All right, so 
<sighs> I need to grab a fresh glove in just a second. So we're going to put like a drop. So literally a drop. No special effects here, guys. <laughs> okay, so I was told this, this is thirsty stuff. So we are going to be having to use a little bit more than that. So let's just go ahead and do a half. And see if that can get in there. So what I'm learning as I'm using the nano cloth for the very first time is I heard it was thirsty and it's thirsty. I am noticing though that I'm able to move it. I think you guys can see that. And it landed upright. Okay, that's not good for science. Guys, I'm doing the best I can. I mean, we've really done everything again to prepare for this video. Um, we're gonna let those dry. Okay, so already, literally I have not used these. I have used Diamond Motion before. I've even used Jenda before on Jenda um, Nanocloth by their product. But we are letting that dry. <clears throat> I'm putting this away. Um, I have talked to Tom. He's actually a really nice guy. So I want to make sure that I represent the product well. Okay. So that is syringe number one done right there. I feel good about what's going on. This is, this is ready to go. This on the leather, obviously I'm learning. It takes a little bit longer. So actually let's not waste any product here. I mean, you guys are probably freaking out that so much product's already gone out on this, but this is science. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Okay. All right, there's that. And this is going away. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, I'm going to put this in there too. Okay. Okay, so we are on to the next one. I have, thank you so much. Okay, so we need the Ken Schwartz product. Okay, shake. Okay, so. Okay. 
All right, we got to get our glove ready. I'm telling you why, how do these scientists do this, you know? It's so nice to have like people. So we're putting a half on each. All right, and then we're gonna put the half on here. And I'm saying this out loud. My wife has not heard me say that I'm saying this right now. I'm looking for her to give me a heads up. I have an idea right now on camera. I wanna see if she agrees with me. You know, the Jenda Industries ones is a top industry as they're in the, they've been in the game. It's not fair that I dropped their nano cloth. Kent supplies is not in the diamond game. I think I'm going to just remove Kent supplies from the competition and I'm going to give that nano cloth to Jenda Industries. Um, I just think that that's what's fair to make sure that the top three companies don't have a problem with the testing. Um, So we are human and that's part of the show is that, uh, so if you guys have not used nanocloth before, this stuff is definitely thirsty. And if you push, you can really kind of move it to get it everywhere. But there you go. So there is that. That one went pretty smooth, but we had to do it once to get it right. Okay. There's that. Okay, and we're gonna get new paper towels because it wouldn't be fair that some of the other person's product was done with that. Okay, so. There goes Ken. So, we're shaking bait, guys. We are we are getting everything shaken. Okay. Not exactly sure how I'm going to be able to draw this out. Um, am I going to need a little bit of a bowl? I'm not really sure. And we did it. There we go. Let's save that. Let's go up. Look at how much better we are at doing this after we've done it, like on our third try. <clears throat> We're gonna need a glove in a minute for the to redo this other one here. Okay. So
So I don't know, you know, what you guys are planning on. I don't know if you're doing it on an old belt. I don't know if you're doing it on some leather that you found or that you purchased. The goal is to move this around. Um, definitely the consistency of this one has been completely different. Um, I'm saying that as it, you can tell like one was more oil. The other one's a little bit more water ish. Okay. Very cool. All right, now let's do the other half, just the half. Okay. Very cool. That's going to go away. And since we had the, the mishap, the can't supply one is now Jinda. This one is not going away because it's a perfectly good drop and I'm happy to, to keep it. But I need a paper towel and I'm going to put this on there. Thank you. Make sure I got the right companies. I only get one shot of this. So, shake it again. Let's not have it settle. All right, then so we need a glove. All right. We have done what we are supposed to do. I'm going to let you guys know uh, personally that I've used the Kent. It is really good stuff. It is really oil-based. It does take like a day to dry. I mean, it really does take a while. It is not really used for this. Um, I have no hard feelings. This is very inexpensive. I wanted to show it as a, a control. Um, I'll tell you what I will do. I will let it um, participate on the leather. Why not? We have the leather out here. We will just see how long it takes to dry. So um, it's already in a syringe. So I'm going to have to guess um, how much to put on here. I can tell you that this stuff takes a while to dry. It is a good product. It has served me well. I will never say anything bad about the company. Um, 
Hello? Okay, we're back, guys. We had a phone malfunction. We had like a full phone. I mean, this 4K video shoots heavy, so to not waste your time. Where the cameras cut off, I had actually went in and since I had the leather strop, I went ahead and did the, um, the Kent Supplies 0.5 Micron. It is dried. It did not take an unusual amount of time. It took longer than the others. Still turned out, we'll see if it moves with the knife. I typically have it come off a lot on the knife. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take the knife that was assigned to it. Remember, it has not been stropped. It had 1K, 3K, 5K uh, edge leading strokes on an 8k and then it's been sitting here so i've got this ready so i'm going to do uh 10 strokes per side and then do a test okay so i'm trying to maintain the sharpening angle I'm pushing very lightly, guys. You do not want to roll the edge of the knife. It feels good. The Jinda Industry product really does feel good. That it's, it's gliding across it nicely. Okay. Yeah, it really dried nice. All right, let's get a score. Okay, so what we need to do, make sure we do is we need to wipe the edge in case there is diamond emulsion actually on the edge. If my, there you go, thank you so much. It's okay. I know you guys can't see this. I am going to, um, you can say it. it be, it. What? It okay, now I'm just gonna do the, do the score and hold it up for you guys. Um, this is a lot of work to do. So I tell you what, I'll do the best I can for you guys. Okay. So nice. So on leather with the Jinda 0.5 micron, we originally had a score of 134. I want you to see guys, it is Drop down to 105. I mean, that was not a lot of work done. Diamond emulsion on leather, really nice. The 105, okay? So, we're going to do some more. We're going to actually do the same knife a little bit more. And we're going to replace the leather with the Nano. Okay. For me, I got to have it a little closer to the edge. Definitely an interesting feel on the nano cloth if you guys haven't used it. It's got a velvet kind of a texture to it. I do not know how to explain to you how lightly this is. Okay, so really feels great. I will say I wasn't sure that I could do all this stropping um, on such a small strop, very nice. So let's see uh, how much more progress we got out of that. All right, let's clean it up, folks.
Okay. So it looks like we're the same. What did we get before? One, 105. So it says 110. Um, we're going to do it again to make sure that I didn't do something wrong. Okay. So let's just go ahead and. One, two, three, four. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I guess I'm gonna have to throw some background music in there or something to make you guys uh so it's, it's hard, you know, you say to yourself, like, how do you clean this? Okay, so I'm sure we need a new one. Yep, that one's broken. Okay. Okay, so the knife is not getting better per stroke. Um, it's got 118, so we've gone worse. It's not the nanocloth and it's not the agenda, it's not the 0.5, it's just, we've sharpened this knife as sharp as we can get it. I mean, it's not going, we shouldn't say it's gonna keep getting better. So I'll tell you what I wanna do. I actually, just for the fun of it, I'm gonna go back to the leather of course, you would argue that it has its own abrasive in the leather. So let's see what we get out of that. One, two, three, four, Okay, so here with the argument, I'm looking at my wife, I'm, I'm, I'm saying, I'm thinking out loud like right now. Do I not touch the towel? And let's, so let's see, let's, so let's not touch the towel. Let me just hold this knife in the air. Let's presume that none of the diamond came off on the edge. Because it could have been that I rolled the edge with the towel. So I want to make sure that everybody gets there. Remember, I'm not competing with these guys. I'm just telling you the results that we got. I'm doing it for you. Okay, so we've got this fresh. Okay, so we did improve. We got to 100. So we've learned no towel. Okay. So now it just makes sense. Let's do the nano cloth. Let's give it the real deal. I mean, you guys are watching science happen. We're, we're figuring it out as we go. Amazing. This is amazing. We're learning together. We're, we're down to 100 with this knife, right? You guys already know that that's an incredible score. I'm scared of it. Huh? I'm scared of it. <laughs> yes. Is my dog making some noise? Josie. What are you doing, Josie? Are you are you having?
beautiful. It's just absolutely beautiful. The nanocloth does feel good. Um, definitely try not to push into the cloth where the cloth itself could roll the edge. Okay, we've definitely given it its due. I'm not touching anything. <laughs> My wife and I are conducting science for you guys right now. Okay. This is a lot going on. I mean, I'm taking her time up. Okay, so let's see if we got any better. It's so exciting. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's like half of where we started, almost. Yeah, not quite. 67. I mean, we're, we're, we're doing good, guys. Okay. So we got to remember. Now, we're going to end up figuring out percentages for you. Remember, this knife was the sharpest of all of them. I do want to point out that this particular knife already started at 134. It was amazing sharp. We got it down to 67. Ridiculous. If the other numbers don't come in at that number, will they at least come in at the same percentages? That's what we want to find out. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> okay. Jinda, you know, you've been kind of getting the bad break today. I'm saying it, I dropped the one on the floor. I got it to the side over here. We replaced it. We wanted to represent you well. Appreciate you. Guys, I make no money off of this, by the way. Um, there is no commission uh, paid to me by any of the manufacturers. No one has paid me money to represent their product. Um, I'm trying to make sure I represent them well. Okay, so we're moving on over to Ken Schwartz. Now, I want to point out that this particular knife, it was picked randomly, the Ken Schwartz knife, it had a score of 191. So it was 60-something. I mean, it was a lot of points higher. Um, it's not trying to short Ken. Uh, I'm sure we're going to see big improvement. So let's just go ahead and get into that. Okay, so we need a new one of these. And the reason that I'm loading it with these guys is so that way the tension was made by the company. They're pre-made. They're not cheap. Everything's not cheap. You know, we're spending the money for you guys on this video. Okay. So let's do our strokes. I'll tell you what, guys. I need to pause for one second. I'm not going to do any switcheroos on you. But I want to go back and verify my counts on the other to make sure that everybody got the same count. Okay. So I'm going to pause the video, count everything, and come right back in. All right, so we're back. So we've got numbers we've counted. We did a lot of dropping. Amazing what's happened. So we want to make sure that we do the exact same thing. We're not changing it. We're not changing the tile wipes, anything. We're going to do everything the same. So, so this score started off with a 191. <clears throat> okay, so... And the, the, uh, the, the number count, 23. okay, so we got 23, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Okay. So in the first three, we did the towel. So we're going to carefully wipe the edge. And let's get set up here.
Okay, well, we got to tear it. Okay, Ken, you should be happy out there. We just dropped that score from 191 to 139. And that was on the first strop on the leather. I know Ken himself had concern about it being applied to leather. So we're, we're doing this, guys, in the exact same way. We're going to see how much the towel affects things. So let's reload. You guys are in it for the long ride. We're doing science, folks. Okay. And the number we're looking for? 25. Keep me honest, Michelle. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, thank you, 25. Want to make sure we did it right, okay? We did the towel, so we're going to do the towel. <clears throat> okay. So 138, what was the other score that we had prior? 139. So we got a little better. Even though there was towel, we actually got a little better on the Nano with this drop. So we're going to load it up again. We're doing another 10 strokes. Another 20, it's, I'm sorry, 10 per side. Thank you, Michelle. Guys, I'm going to be doing a uh, back a behind the scenes later on your video, and you'll get to meet my wife. Okay. So let's do 20. So we need a number. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20. Powell. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, maybe we didn't. We did, because now, because then we go back to pad without the towel, and then, yep. So, <clears throat> we are set. Let's see if we got any improvement. I mean, how sharp are these knives, guys? Come on. Seriously. We're at 127. So we have gotten better. Which this should be a testament from the other video I did. Well, I'll put a link in the description or in the ahead uh, um, on just how much stropping actually does for us. Okay, so I mean, okay. So now back to the leather. We are going back to the leather without the towel without and then leather. nano without the towel. Right. Yes, that is what we're doing. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and ask you guys, please tell some people. We got a knife giveaway going on in case you don't know. Um, we're trying to go for 1,000 subscribers. We are, we're at like 848. Um, if you guys haven't seen that, we'll make a video for it. But um, 
The details are subscribe, like, send this to some friends. Everyone who's subscribed and who has actually gone into their subscriptions and made it public, and is, there is a setting in there, um, make it public, and then you're on a list. And when we go get the 1,000 viewers, we're going to go through the people who have subscribed, and we put it into a randomizing computer program, and the computer picks you. We already had a winner. I had to mail that knife to Pakistan. Wally was very happy. So, okay. So, <clears throat> I confirmed today that we'll be going to um, Washington, D.C., May the 1st. We're meeting Ryan Swanson at his knife shop, and we're going to learn a lot about sharpening from him. I'm super excited. Okay, so there's going to be no towel on this one. The number we're going for is? 20. We got 20. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right. Okay. So the leather was not our friend on this one. We, we went jumped back up to 161. So Ken had some concerns about leather, but let's just go back to nano cloth. Again, I'm, my, I, my thoughts are on the towel, but we're going to not put the knife down. Okay, we got that, Tarek. Okay. 27. 27. I went crazy the last time. So let's do it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Yeah. <sighs> Science. Okay, so we definitely like the nano cloth. Mad props to, to Ken and his product. Um, the score is down to 105. Okay, not really sure what had happened with the leather. Doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, the product is a good product. So, I mean, right off the bat, you're, you went from 191 to 105. I mean, we got it. it was 105 the low? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. One of five is the low so far? Yeah. For was, this one? For, for that knife? <clears throat> yes. Yes. Really? For that knife you're working on. That's yes. The lowest score. What right were now. all the scores? 191, 139, 138, then back to 161, <clears throat> 127, 105. Wow. Okay. Straight. 
Okay, just to, just to refresh my memory, the starting number on this was 130. And then it was 134. And it went down to 67. Is that half of that? Not quite. But they're, no, so they're both, close. they're both running. They're, okay. They're, they're close. They're close. Okay. Half, yeah. So some good products, guys. Some good products. Um, again, listen, I'm going to tell you before these guys call me and give me hell, I'm going to tell you right now. You've seen all kinds of weird shit happen in here today or like whatever. This is entertainment. It's testing. You're seeing the products. You're seeing me. I'm doing the best I can. If I had like a team of people here and whatever and it was all done, it'd be different robotic. You know, I got my wife. We, we're doing this. We're doing the best we can. Okay, so just bear with us. We're moving on to Gunny Juice. So let's get this loaded up. Um, good job, Ken. Good job. Super happy with your product. I'm happy with the, the nano uh, cloth drops. If you, I'm totally shocked that we were able to do that um, on that size. So now we're moving over to Gunny Juice. Um, we have this Nakiri. This is Fujiwara. It's, again, super blue. They're all super blue. Um, so 23 passes. 23, and it started at 173. Thank you. Let me go ahead and put one of these in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Towel. We do a towel on this one. Let's get the oh, let's get the light on. <clears throat> so we have ninety one. So what was the starting score? 173. 173. So 91. Very good. Um, so that was with the towel. Okay, so we got to go nano. Nano cloth. Yep. We need a new one of these. What the hell's going on? Okay, so we're going to sit it down. You don't want to actually put pressure on the... Um... There it is. Why was it so easy right then? I don't even know. Okay, so... 25. 25. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 
16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Can I get a count? Okay. 21. 22, 23, 24, 25. Towel. Towel. Okay, so 106, damn towel, I'm telling you, I'm telling you people, <clears throat> it's not like we're not going to wipe our knives off. I mean, let's get, let's get serious about that. Like, and you should see how, like, how much, like, if you don't want you to see the grams on this, like, I literally touched that and I went to three, 17. That just tells you how sharp. These things have to be. Okay. <clears throat> 20? Oh, oh, yep, you were on it. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. You guys, you better be clapping for my wife wherever you are in the universe because she is the one that's really keeping it. I feel bad that I'm getting ready to put this on leather. I don't know if the leather's going to hurt it or not. Whoa. This is the knife game, though, people. Like, every, every, you know, everything, everything affects everything. So let's get rid of this. <clears throat> let's load up fresh. Okay, so now we're going leather. Yep, we got it, we got it. No towel. If you think about what we're doing, let's see, that's, thank you. Four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, <sighs> no towel. Okay, so the leather did us in. It's an 88. 
okay? And when I was talking to Ken, when I was talking to, I think I talked to Scott, um, they were talking about, the, okay, the conversation is, most people are going to put this on leather. Not everybody's going to run out and buy nanocloth, but because nanocloth has its own abrasive, so it does have a contribution. So, 27. 27, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, Twenty-seven. Okay, is this cut one? Is it new? That's an old one. Yep. Um, while I'm replacing this, I want to point something out that's also a scientific problem. There is no way, guys, that I'm hitting the same part of the knife every time. So because it was sharpened by hand, um, you know, it could be sharper at one point than the other. That's the problem with the best is, is measuring the score on a certain point. Again, that's why part of this video is entertainment, part of it's education. Um, if I happen to be hitting a spot that was bad to begin with, this would have made a performance. I, there was no way to even mark at a microscopic level to do the same. So again, take all of this with a grain of salt. Sixty-three. I think that's the best score we've had today. Um, it's not really about the score. I want to point out it's not about the score. It was about the percentage of increase. Okay, so we have gotten a score today. I think at sixty-six or sixty-seven on something else, but it started at one thirty. One thirty. No. The it first knife was. Yes. It was. Um, yes. It was one thirty-four to start, and we got it down to sixty-seven. Sixty-seven. This one was 190. No, this one, no, that one. The, yeah, that one was 130 something, 134. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, and that was 134 and it got to 67. Seven. I'm not worried about this one okay. because that one got low, but it didn't get as low as this. This was 191. No, 173. 173, I apologize. To and 60. To 63. So we got 110 increase. And if you guys saw me when I did the um, product review for this, it had a 100-point jump that day as well. Um, so nothing, I mean, that's just consistent with the product or like whatever. So real quick to close this out, um, the last thing I have is I have the Kent Supply. It's sticky, you can tell. Um, so this knife, I'm just going to give it 179. no towels. Give it its best shot. Okay, so I'm gonna give it 20 passes, 23. That was the, you know. So I mean, let's give it. Let's let's get Kent in the game. One, you can feel it dry. You can feel its stickiness on the knife. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I'll give it a couple more. 
21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. That's at least fair because it's everybody else got 27 on their last pass. Okay. I don't. You're just going to best it. You want me to best it with the yeah. pink stuff on the side? Okay. Yep. Yeah, sure. Well, why not? She, slow it down. My wife, come around here and say hello. No. No, you're going to be shy today? Late, babe. Okay. She's well, ready babe. to cook dinner. <laughs> okay. You can definitely see that there is stuff on the side of the knife. It is obvious. It was a little bit sticky. We'll give it a score without wiping it off. It did great. It did great. 116. What did it start out at? 179. There you go. The problem that I so the problem that I would talk about with this is it did take a little longer to dry. I do not have a nano who knows how much how be better would have got with the nano. It is sticky to the touch. Um, it is on my knife, so you would have to actually clean the blade um, before you used it. We know this damn towel is the enemy of all things, so it is nice if you could not have to do it. Let's get a you know a post towel. This is one of my favorite knives, though, I'll tell you. 114. It was a good product. Okay, so we got the diamond, we got the stuff off. So, when you guys are out there looking at all these products, um, great deals out there. Jenda is in the game. Big website. We'll have a link to their products. They make their own version of Nanocloth. You've seen it on the show. Ken, uh, he's been selling this stuff for 10 years, I mean, or longer, for all I know. This guy, I've get, been getting everything wrong about him. Nice guy on the phone, very particular about his stuff. He's very passionate, love him for it. Good, great results. You know, his nano cloth feels amazing. Enjoyed it very much. Um, Gunny Juice, you know, it's, again, I've already got links from his product review. If you haven't seen the product review, you've seen it today, I'll put a link and everything. And then the last one was Ken Supply. All of those were 0.5 micron. Um, when you go to their sites, don't forget this was 0.5. They, some of these companies do make a 5 micron, a 3, a 9, a 6. They make a lot over. This was 0.5. Um, so this will take you to the next level. We appreciate you coming. My wife is anxious to cook dinner. So enjoy the entertainment that we did for you. Use this information as you will. If you have the DMT and you've got some results, please put it in the comments. Everyone, chime in, chime in. We appreciate you so much. God bless. We wish you never a dull moment. Good night.